Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial here on my channel and in this tutorial we are going to discuss the frames in TK interlibrary in Python and the power of this library is that it lets you uh, divide your screen or your um, application or desktop application into sections so as you can see here we have uh, a sidebar that uh, contains the uh, some buttons, the customers, products, reports, uh, things like that. And in nowadays applications or websites, you see um, the screen divided into sections. And we want to do the same. So in order to uh, accomplish that, we use something called frames in uh, TK Enter. And I'm going to show you how, how powerful frames are in uh, TK Enter. First of all, in order to use um, frames, you need to uh, create an object of the frame class. So let's suppose that we want to create a sidebar frame like this. I would go ahead here and create a variable called side, side frame or sidebar, side frame equals to frame. And inside that frame, we pass the main uh, TK uh, object. So here I pass main and I also want to create the main uh, frame which is the left side or, or the right side uh, frame that contains anything else. So I, I, I'm gonna uh, go ahead here and create another frame and I might call it um, right side frame or main frame doesn't matter right frame and it's all, uh, it's also going to be equal to frame because we are going to create an object of that frame main uh, of that frame class and in order to set that side frame on the left side of the screen we need to use the pack function so I'm going to use the pack function using first of all I use the side, uh, side frame variable and then I call the pack function on it and inside the pack function, I should pass the um, I should pass the side, right? Rem remember that from previous tutorials when we use the side to just um, uh, use it for for a single uh, widget on the screen. But here we don't have to use um, we we don't have to specify a side for each widget uh, on the screen. We just specify it for a frame, and inside that frame, all elements inside it will be on that side. So here, side equals to left, left, and for the right frame, I'm gonna call also the pack function. And inside it, I am going to use the side equals to right. Right. G-H-T. Right. And now we can add our uh, widgets or elements inside our sidebar and inside our uh, right frame. So for the sidebar, um, let's suppose that for the side frame we have uh, buttons. Button 1 equals to uh, button and instead of passing the main here we pass the uh, the frame that we want that that button to appear on so we want that button to appear on the side frame or inside the side frame so I'm gonna pass side frame and um, the other um, the other arguments are the just the text for that button maybe I should uh, I don't know, maybe I should add a text of uh, button 1, anything you want. And let's suppose that we have another 3 or, yeah, 3 buttons. So 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to change this to 2, and this to 3, and this to 4. And this as well to 3 and 4. And now we should have all of these buttons inside our uh, side frame. Now for the right uh, frame, we might add other elements. We might leave it um, empty. It's up to you. But don't forget 
to use the pack function for the buttons. So for each button we should button one we should call the pack function as well. So in order uh, the order that you want the buttons uh, to be um, appeared on on the side frame you should call uh, you should call the the uh, for example the button one first so that it appears first and then if you call button three after button one it's going to be appear um, before button two so make sure that you call them in the order that you want them to appear in so here I want button two and then pack and then button three and then again I call pack and button four and I call the pack function again and finally don't forget to should have it here yeah the main loop don't forget this one this function now let's save and run And we have got an error in uh, in two in uh, line um, line 22. Here it says name button two is not defined. Uh, I don't know where is the error. Yeah, we have here an error. Let's save and run again. And I forgot the T. Sorry. And I'm gonna save and run. Make sure that everything is correct. Sorry again for that error. Save and run. And there you go. Now we have a sidebar with these buttons. And of course, the, the since the side since the right frame is empty, um, nothing appears here. So I need to add something just to show you that anything that I add on the right um, inside the right frame, it's gonna appear on the right side, not and not beneath the um, the side frame so for example I might here create a label and it's going to be equal to label and just pass the right frame and the text text equals to label and I should here call the pack function as well pack and save and run and there you go now we have a beautiful application as you can see sorry yeah now we have it as you can see the buttons on the left side and the the label on the right side and anything that you add on the right side it's gonna appear beneath the label if you call it uh, beneath the the label um, uh, this label so this is how it works and this is how you can add multiple uh, widgets inside one frame instead of calling instead of passing the side inside each pack function here you could just pass it once inside the frame and pass the frame inside the buttons or the widgets and yep that's it uh, if you like this video uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and also there are a lot of um, materials in the description below and I also have uh, some courses in the description below very useful if you want to really be professional in Python in any um, so in any aspect of Python uh, just check out the description below and support the channel by subscribing and that's it uh, I'll see you later